Good morning all. Let us start chapter 3, grade 6 mathematics, number play. Learning objectives. After this session, we will be able to identify which number is greater between two numbers and compare numbers and able to identify supercell. Introduction. Numbers are essential tools in organizing our daily lives, helping us with tasks like counting, problem solving through basic operations such as addition, subtraction and division, multiplication and division. As we continue exploring numbers, we will see how they appear in different contexts, noticing patterns and learning to apply them in new ways. Let us observe the numbers written in the table. Here, we understand the concept of the supercell. Supercell is a cell where the number is greater than this side number. For example, if we compare 43 and 79, 79 is greater than 43, at the same time, 79 is greater than the next number, 77. So, therefore, we call the number 79 as a supercell. Similarly, if we compare 75 and 79, another case, 75 is less than, therefore, it is not. Similarly, when 63 is compared with the 75 and 10, 63 is not greater than 75, therefore this is not a supercell. When we compare 10 with the two side numbers 63 and 29, this is lesser than, so this is not a supercell. When we compare 29 with the 10, 29 is greater than 10. And when you compare 29 with the next number 28, 29 is greater than 28, therefore 29 is a supercell. Similarly, all other numbers. So a cell colored if the number it is larger than its adjacent cells. The number 626 is colored as it is larger than 577 and 345 whereas 200 is not colored as it is smaller than 577. The number 198 is colored as it has a only one adjacent cell. This one is it has only adjacent cell one as, so as 198 is greater than 108 so 198 is colored and there is no other cell. Let us start exercise problem, figure it out. Color or mark the supercell in the table below. See, this is the question given here. When we compare with the 6828 with the 670, and there is no other number. So, here 6828 is colored with this red. So, this is a supercell. Similarly, when compared to the 670, 670 is lesser, so we are not marking it with the color. When we compare 9, 1435 with a 670 and 3780. This is greater than these two number larger. Similarly, 8000. So this is these three other supercells. Let us see question number two. Fill the table below with only four digit numbers such that the supercells are exactly the colored cells. This is a table they have given. We are filling this table that contains only four digit number. And it should be color. See, as this is a green color, so it should be super cell. So we are assigning a number which is greater than five thousand three forty six, and the next number should not be super cell. So and it should be lesser than the next number also one thousand. So therefore, one thousand one hundred twenty is this, which is not a super cell. Remaining all we have filled so such that this should not be a super cell. And the last one should be super cell. <coughs> Let us see question number 3. Fill the table below such that we get as many super cells as possible. Use numbers between 100 and 1000 without repetitions. So here we have used the numbers between this 1000 and 100 and 1000. And it should have the as many super cells as possible. So very first one it can be super cell because we can give the second number as a 123 we have given. Similarly, as 123 is already not super cell, we have to ensure that the next number should be super cell. So, it should number should be greater than 120. So, 391 we have given. The next number should be lesser than this one. Next one is 678 we are considering. So, it should be the super cell. And the next one is 768, 897. So, we have arranged in such a way that it has as many number of super cells as possible. So, there are total 5 possible supercells. Let us see question number 4. 
Out of the nine numbers, how many supersets are there in the table above? As you observe, out of the nine numbers, there are five numbers of supersets available. Figure it. Fifth question. Find out many, how many supersets are possible for different numbers of sets. Do you notice any pattern? What is the method to fill table to get the maximum number of supersets? Explore and share your strategy. So we are assuming that if there are the four cells, then the maximum number of supercells is two. If there are three cells, then maximum number of supercells is two. So here, we are assuming if it is a number, even number of cells, then maximum number of supercells is half of the even number. If there are odd numbers, we are adding one to that one and then dividing it as a two. So that is why if n is even number, then n by two should be number of supercells possible, maximum number. If n is odd, then n plus 1 divided by 2 is the number of supercells possible. For example, in the first one, there are 4 numbers which is even. So, how many number of possible supercells are here, maximum number 2. Similarly, the second example, there are 3 cells are there. So, 3 plus 1, 4. 4 divided by 2. So, 2 number of supercells which we have arranged as shown in the figure. Let us see question number 6. Can you fill a supercell table without repeating numbers such that there are no supercells? Why or why not? The solution. It's not possible to fill a supercell without repeating numbers in such a way that there are no supercells. There are two cases. Case 1. If we fill the cells in the descending order, then the first cell will be supercell. If we fill the cells in ascending order, then the last cell will be supercell. Question number 7. Will the cell having the largest number in the table be always supercell? Can the cell having the smallest number in the table be supercell? Why or why not? Yes. The cell with the largest number in the table be always supercell. This is because if it is the corner, then the number adjusted to it is either the second cell or the second last cell will be the smaller than it. So, if it is between this, the both adjacent numbers will be smaller than it. For the second one, it is no. The answer is the cell with the largest, smallest number in a table cannot be supercell because the number adjacent will be always larger or greater than it. Eighth one. Fill the table such that a cell having the second largest number is not a supercell. So here we have filled in the numbers and the, in this given the table, this is the second largest number. This is the not a supercell because next to this one we have assigned a number which is a largest number. Therefore, this is not a supercell. So, in the following table, 899 is the second largest, but it is not a supercell as 900 is a supercell. Ninth one. Fill in the table such that cell having the second largest number is not a supercell, but the second smallest number is supercell. Is it possible? Here, we have filled this in this table, 888 is the second largest number. If you observe here, this is a second largest number. But the cell containing 888 is not a supercell because 899 is greater than this one. Therefore, this is not a supercell. When compared with here 159, 159 is the second smallest number. First smallest number is a 151. Second smallest number is 159. But as we have kept in the 159 in the corner side, so it is only comparing with this smallest number. So, this is a supercell. Figure it out. Make other variations of this puzzle and challenge your classmates. Yes, if you have taken an example of some other odd numbers, 899, 799, 699, 599, the sequential order. Anyway, other using this even numbers we have, we have considered. These are the some observations just well written in this. Thank you.